Inquisitor, how long has it been? Don't actually tell me. I despise feeling old. Survivor of the breach. Herald of change. Hero of the South. The Vidasala, I presume. <laughs> wow. Aspirations of godhood? Dorian, why can't you look after your little friends? Corypheus peed on the carpet again. You're delightful, you know that? No, I do not know that. Mm -hmm. I object. There is nothing delightful about me. I beg to differ. <sighs> I think I preferred you in the stocks. Maybe I should leave and come back. I think I missed the beginning. Oh, I'm talking about marriage. Marriage? Yes, marriage. You are here to propose, are you not? So they're stockpiling both. That's how they got the keystone and opened so many of the Alluvians we've seen. Hopefully they don't have any more ancient magic crap to throw at us. That dragon skull would make a wicked armchair, though. Maybe we could take it back to Skyhold after this. Inquisitor, I see you have time for afternoon refreshments. Did you know that a merchant in the courtyard is selling gemstones the same color as your eyes? What an odd thing to say. Hmm, I must see this for myself. You're useful to have around, Cole. After all the places we have been, I hardly expected to find us in another cave. Still, as mad as our lives have been, I would take any chance to be together. Would you like us to leave so the two of you can be alone with the Kunari and the Deepstalkers? Quiet, dwarf. I still have not forgiven you for the end of Swords and Shields. Floating crap, magic mirror crap, evil demon crap. When this is over, I'm gonna need somebody to hit me with a stick again. No. I'm not sure whether I want that to be a metaphor or not. Next time we get the gang back together, let's do a dragon instead. Dragons are fun. Our oh, people used to be here. Must you say that everywhere? It is more true than you want to believe. I bet, right? Who wants to think about stepping on dead elves? Dean Elven Emahim. Look, I've got horns, you've got pointy ears, and those freaky big elf eyes. We're probably not the best people to go around deciding what's normal. Krem's a good man. I don't give a nug's ass that it's a little harder for him to piss standing up. You know, you shouldn't make fun of people being scared of magic just because you can scare them back. I take it you think I'm frightening. Not naked. You're well fit. But all armored up and fierce. What do you think some stable boy sees? A seeker on the side of righteousness. Here's what I learned in the alleys. Ah, mages. Ah, Templars. Ah, Tevinters. Ah, hungry. When you're little, everything is... Ah! What made you write about Hawk? All your other books are complete fiction. Someone had to set the record straight about the champion. Yet your book is still full of lies. But true ones. That's important. Sarah, what are you wearing? Are you sure it's dead? What? Is there something? Oh, ha ha. Eat it. So where were you born, Cassandra? Don't you want to guess? Fine. On a pile of the softest gold, with big hat priests patting your butt, all singing and playing trumpets? What does that even... Uh, another guess, Sarah. Were you born in Denerim? What? No. Is that what you're trying for? That was the question that began this whole thing. That was your question. I just hoped something on the map would rhyme with us. Besides, I don't know or much care where I was born. <sighs> Ars. Oh, for me. <laughs> it was a bitch. Charming. If I might be so bold, Inquisitor, is this the company you would present as the Inquisition? I know, right? You people are weird. Thank you for illustrating the point. What, you think you're better than me? It's nothing personal, dear. I am demonstrably better than most. That you so thoroughly prove it is hardly my fault. Pretty sure she thinks she's better than me. <laughs> oh, this is truly, truly sad. You've styled your hair that way for ages now, Leliana. Why don't we do something new with it? I'm used to the way it is. What about our commander? He does something with his hair already. Oh, it does look very nice today. I don't. <laughs> you mean it just gets that way on its own? Not entirely. 
creepy. Needs a hat. And breeches. Maybe a moustache. <laughs> oh, that's good. We can draw one with soot. I will fuss and mock each other mercilessly. And I would be lost without them. Yes. What's that like? A dwarf getting on someone's nerves. I can't imagine. This Orena sounds like good people. You're not here to propose. I am going to kill Varric. Why do I believe everything he says? Why? Oh, this is gonna be fun. The old team together again to kick some ass. How about it, Catan? Ah, we're doing the names, are we? It's a title of honor, Kadan. I need a drink. Do you want your Amatus to cheer you up? I can do some of those flexes you like. Uh -huh. They say your family almost drove the dragons to extinction. A shame. Majestic beasts. Majestic? Say that after you see a pile of dragon shit bigger than your house. Dragons were the best. Well, until Canari women were everywhere. Or... Oh. Like they are. <laughs> you are aware they're trying to kill us. Don't be distracted. Just saying. Fighting's better with candy. Seems odd he went on an adventure and you stayed behind. We are neither of us so weak we would die of loneliness. Thrilled to be at the Exalted Council, Lord Pavus. Oh, riveted. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Solus, how'd you say excuse me in Elvin or whatever? For you, it would be Ara Seranama. It is coincidence that your name is within. The bait form is common. Thanks. And now when I don't say it, you'll know it's on purpose. Denerim is a long way from Orlais. How do you get there? By Stinky Horse? Sarah. How can it be so dark? Because there's no light, silly. <laughs> ah, yes. That must be it. Divine Victoria. <laughs> Please don't. It would be nice to just be Liliana again for a few days. As you command, most holy. <sighs> I can give the Inquisition a means to send him a message. He will think this means I miss him, of course. Oh, he will be insufferably pleased with himself. I hope you appreciate this sacrifice, Inquisitor. But I saw you as lovely as your songs. So, you... Huh. You know what I hear? The only thing scaring nobles more than the baddies is being asked to help us. Typical, right? Wet and running the first sign of trouble. <laughs> I knew a duke who actually had a servant follow him to war with corks in case his bowels loosened. Called him his retainer. <laughs> oh, it's stupid. It is stupid. You dragged me here to badmouth a sad dead woman. It's not about that. Feelings are hard, all right. But for an adult. Bullshit. And I'm trying to say I like it here. I thought you'd want to know that and eat my shitty cookies. Wait! Why are we yelling? Because we're friends now. Well then, can we get off the roof now? Uh, keep feeling like I'm gonna bang my horns on this crap. Let me go up front then. I'm as good in a fight as you are. Damn right. You're about the most dangerous person I know. A real Sarah Bass. Try to stitch my lips and you're a pincushion with arrows. They don't make a thread strong enough to hold your tongue. And that's what she said, I think. From today, you are known to us as Inquisitor First Thor. What? I mean, I'm sorry, that's... But... First Thor? Dorian, do you think we could ever be friends? Stranger things have happened. It would take work. And soap. Lots and lots of soap. Here we go again. What a change of pace from the Winter Palace. A clear sky, a beautiful view, and yes, fields and fields of stripweed as far as the eye can see. You bring your handkerchief? I'm not uh, allergic. You always say that, and a half hour later, you're taking mine. Amatus, can you not fuss like an old... It's just... Aha! <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? Tell me, Cassandra, did your family throw suitors at you? My uncle did waves of them until I broke one's arm. Then there were fewer. I must admit I never tried that. 
It was an accident. Well, mostly an accident. That was... one of the greatest things I've ever seen. Truly. That part with the glittery... and, and they actually set fire to... <laughs> Things are going well with the bull, I take it? He's happy I've returned, if that's what you mean. I nearly crushed three of my ribs with that ridiculous hug. You say that as if you didn't like it. Such a great beast, he's a terrible sap. I want to talk about my feelings, Dorian. <laughs> you do like it. Why, you? Get over here. And then where will I be? For hating the outdoors, you really do seem to like bad weather. What's that now? The other day, you were outside in the rain, staring up with a grin on your face. I smile at clouds. Of course you do. What? I should hunch and swear at the rain, pissing off my nose. Let the weather win. I smile the frig out of clouds. Maybe they get tired of trying. Are we still talking about clouds? What? Never mind. Drinks and insults later? We're both buying. Then there's double. You don't have to be afraid, Sarah. I won't hurt you. I won't stab you when you're looking somewhere else. I won't do that to your boots. Or that other thing to your arrows. I don't understand what that last thing is, but I won't do it either. Stop it, you. You caught the eye of a young woman in that last village, Blackwall. I'm sure you're mistaken. You're right. She was undoubtedly looking at me. Even so, I would wait and see where this leads. Calmer heads may yet prevail. <laughs> when has that ever been the case? I'm an optimist. Just ask Varric. Dorian, I can't believe you drank that swill at the tavern. I can't believe they served that swill at the tavern. What is Skyhold coming to? Then why did you drink it? I couldn't stop. With each sip it was, it can't be that bad, can it? Before I knew it, I was analyzing the nuances of its flavor, observing its effect on my nausea. I was in a catatonic trance, fueled by the stench of disgusting dwarven ale. Or oh, you're a drunkard with terrible taste. There is that. Oh, have we reached the stage where we gossip about each other's love lives? Did you hear that, boss? Don't worry. I'll tell you whatever she says. And after the betrayal, and what I put those men through, my sorries were worth about as much as shit. How many people hit you? I lost count at 12, but I could take a punch. So you're fat with it, right? Me? Are you referring to... Do you sleep on silk while gold shits down all over you? Are you rich? I left all that behind. Although I do miss the gold shitting from time to time. Seems like that business at Adamant really worked you up, huh? And Halam Sharal pissed you off something fierce. We're like a guild. They hate this rubbish guild. <laughs> we should get shirts. Probably need different sizes. You work so hard, my dear. I wanted to treat you. Well, that's very... Generous. I know. I even surprise myself sometimes. Pray tell, what meaning does our elven expert sense lurking behind this? None we can discern by staring at it. You two look like you're about to kiss when you argue. Tis time we pressed forward. Have you ever had any interest in learning magic, Stella? Get off. While it has not manifested naturally, there are ways to determine whether arcane gifts lie dormant within you. What? Don't make me think about that. I have to sleep at night. Sleeping would give you the chance to explore the Fade. I could introduce you to spirits. Right, you're messing with me on purpose. Why would I do that? It is not as though I know who filled my bedroll with lizards. <laughs> Fair point. That was pretty good. You were in Denerim during the Blight, Sarah. Did you see many Grey Wardens? Not a one. Not in person. They were killed or something. Or something. Betrayed while defending a nation. Right, well, I suppose there's worse, yeah? Is there? Well, yeah. Could have died defending some Ponzi Fool's hat. Or stepped in shit. Was it raining? Could have been raining. Point made. Could have been worse. As the most eloquent dwarf you know, Sparkles... Speech! Speech! Way too much speech. You hold him so tightly. You let it keep hurting, because you think hurting is who you are. Why would you do that? Can someone tell him to stop? Banish him back to the Fade or something? 
Listen, Cole, you might be a weird, squirrely kid, but you're my weird, squirrely kid. Oh. Thank you. Just don't make it weird. No full hugs. Maybe a one-arm slap on the back, at most. Did you hear something? Relax, darling. It's spa day. Great. We're in the deep roads. I feel myself getting dwarfier by the minute. Did I just sprout a beard? Yes, yes. You hate the deep roads and caves and the outdoors. And slopes, uneven ground, the dark, pretty much all kinds of weather. Look, I have to complain, or you'll forget I'm here and trip over me. I'm providing a service. Oh, yes. I can't wait to degrade the Magisterium with my presence. A new outfit is required. Your aim is atrocious. I'm embarrassed for you. Was the woman in gold playing a king? Who, who was the man in feathers? Sarah, how did you get an entire beehive into Colin's training dummy? I don't know, can't remember. Wait, do you think it was that magic Cole does? Like he helped you and then made you forget? What? No? Piss, now it's in my head. Why'd you say that? You've ruined a good beehive, ass. I thought Josie was kissing ass, getting right up in there, but she's actually been fooling knobs all along. Good too. Milady's adept at her special brand of warfare. All smiles and pleases, like giving us their stuff, does them a favor twice over. And they love her for it. Best idea ever. I have to steal that one. Yes, Sarah. You go right on ahead. Oh, Cole, you're not so bad. But I'll never get used to the things that come out of your mouth. There was once a man who had bees coming out of his mouth. A perfect example. I hope things are well with you and Cassandra. Are you digging for gossip, Vivienne? <laughs> Trying to get me to give up the juicy details? Merely expressing concern for your well-being, my dear. Someone ought to. Well, dear, I hope you can take care of yourself, should we encounter anything outside your experience. I will try, in my own fumbling way, to learn from how you helped seal the rifts at Haven. Ah, wait. My memory misleads me. You were not there. Demons, dragons, and even darkspawn. Now Kunari. I wonder if we will ever run out of things to fight. Now I'm thinking about dragons, and I'm even more depressed about being here. The dragons were amazing, weren't they? Mm, they really were. I never understood my homeland's fascination with dragons until the Inquisition. I suppose I am Navaran after all. You don't like corpses, though. Maybe you're Kunari. <laughs> if I get in over my head, or you're overwhelmed with sorrow for lack of my velvety voice... Magic. Sparkles, the Imperium doesn't deserve you. Or want you. It, it may even kill you, but we'll miss you, if it counts. Indulge me, Sarah. What do you think of when I say demon? Arrows. Fine. Magister? Arrows. Not helpful, but given our history, I'll accept it. Thaumaturgy. What? Magical endeavors. Helpful wonders. Oh. Arrows. <sighs> okay, folks. Time to take the party elsewhere. Tom never wanted any. I swear. Uh, leave him. A whole temple. I told you. Elves. You did say elves. Then we agree. No. The kitchen wouldn't give me cakes because Josie, oh so prim, was sending them to allies. Ah, uh, why cakes when you can give them a two-fingered salute and a box full of dog shit? <laughs> you know I hate the aristocracy as much as you do. I hate that they sit in palaces, sipping wine while people starve outside their gates. I hate that good soldiers die in senseless wars over who gets the fancy chair. Still, it's better to have the nobility on your side than not. They're dogs, all of them. And even the primped and powdered ones have teeth. <laughs> That's a dog shit. That was a good one. Oh, you like overthinking, right? I've got an idea. All right, hit me. You're not throwing piss, but I could ride on your shoulders. 
You run and hit, I shoot. Hmm. You standing or sitting? Sit on your own horns. I stand. Right. Sorry. So we'd be like a mobile siege platform. Hmm. Yes, this could work. Oh, wait, no, better idea. Ice cream and beer. Uh, sure, that's not at all the same thing, but all right. It's probably shit. It'll be great. <laughs> hey, Tiny, any chance you could get out of the way when I'm trying to shoot? Maybe you should stand in front of me. I'd still have a clear shot at all the bad guys from the knees up. Golden, graceful, glittering, but not gaudy. Voice delicate and delectable. What are you talking about, Cole? Sweet, soft, and silky. Her dress, and also under her dress. Are you going to talk to Josephine? Make us balls. Get out of my mind, would you? Cassandra, I've never seen you smile so much. I am not smiling. Now you're not, but only because I pointed it out. I'm not a giddy schoolgirl, Dorian. That would be easier to believe if you hadn't just blushed. <laughs> Cassandra, I owe you an apology. Apologize to me. For what? For judging your secrets. Considering my feelings on Tavinta, I shouldn't throw stones. That is remarkably decent of you, Dorian. It was fun to go to you. You get this little knot between your eyebrows. See? There it is. Delightful. <laughs> Continue on this path and we'll see if it remains such. That's an unlikely friendship. What makes you think we're friends? The bickering. <laughs> dwarves are short. Everyone's short to me. Yeah, but dwarves, right? You need two to look one in the eye. Well, they'd both have a good view. Dwarves are weird. No argument here. Why well, are you doing this wrong? Is it true you killed a dragon? You haven't lived till you felt their wings pulling you in. I can't even imagine. Tell me about their teeth. I've heard they don't all breathe fire, and their scales have different colors and patterns. Careful, Ren. I believe you're drooling. Why did it only talk facing one way? We all have a face we want to show, and a face we do not. Right. You two just work whatever that is out of your system. Like poison. Weird-ass poison. It's good. I can explain. I really didn't ask. Well, all I have to say is call me Red Frigging Jenny. Way too confusing. You'll get a city. One that rhymes with arse. Oh! I should have said we needed a we instead of an us. Because... <laughs> Wait! Anus! <laughs> so stupid. What do you think, Sparkler? Ten Royals says the next thing we run into farts fire. I'll take that bet. I win either way. You should learn to watch your back. Well, you need to. Your ass. No, your mum's ass. Great. I'm glad we understand each other. Cassandra, have you ever punched a bear? What? No, why would I? Well, what's it for then? The training, I mean. You stand harder than Cullen's soldiers. Must be for something. I am a seeker in service of the divine. I am a warrior of truth. All right, all right. Just seems like you could punch a bear if you wanted. You owe me 20 royals, Varric. I'd like them paid in candid dates. I haven't lost that wager yet. You said we'd be arse deep in trouble. This is more like knee-high. I didn't specify whose ass, did I? Leave it to a dwarf always lowering the bar. That was... not what I expected. Best... bogfisher... ever. Afterwards, you will be busy. Every noble in southern Thedas is clamoring to meet you. <laughs> oh, now they're lining up to meet me. You're eyeing Bianca, Buttercup. She's taken. That thing is too complicated. Lots to break. She's a particular lady, but the rewards more than match the effort. That means you agree, but don't want her to know. But she's just a thing. Someone's jealous. She has that effect. Someone's an ass. You, you're an ass. Hey, Seeker, if I hit a guy high while you go low, you think we could get him to flip? Flip? 
Yes. Ass over tea kettle, you know. <laughs> Ass kettle. Yeah, yeah. I suppose that could be done. I've always wanted to get a guy to flip. I'm going to take that as a compliment. Sadly, there's an element there who would welcome Corypheus with open arms. A stupidly short-sighted element. I know, right? He's a piss bag. <laughs> Quite. <laughs> Whatever happens, I wouldn't trade the years we've had together for anything. I love you. And I you. Always and forever, my love. Enjoy me while you can. I expect you'll all miss me terribly later. <laughs> uh, to all my friends. Always and ever, Inquisitor. Always and ever. Sarah was never in the grip. Creepy song is creepy. Blah. Oh, you should be careful dancing around with those daggers when I'm throwing fire. It won't hurt me. It's friendly fire. <laughs>